in Overland Park. We're now joined by Kansas City, Missouri City Manager Brian Platt. Uh, Brian, thanks for joining us this morning. What are things like in town? We've had our crews out 24 hours a day since even before the storm started. We've got about 400 drivers uh, in our rotation. We've got about 300 normal vehicles. We're working hard, but this is not a, a, a nice, light and fluffy snow. This is a wet, heavy snow. And so it's going to take a little bit longer to get through some of those uh, harder to reach areas. Uh, particularly up north, and we're seeing six plus inches of snow in some neighborhoods. I'm curious, Brian, we, I, I've never heard it put that way necessarily when it comes to the plows. Like when it's talking about wet, heavy snow, is that more of a it's going to take longer or it's going to take more passes or some combination of the two whenever you're talking about a different kind of snow? Yeah, you know, it's just a, it's just a heavier material if you think about it. So you, the trucks move a little bit slower yeah. and it might take a couple extra passes and it, and it builds up in some areas on the corners in front of people's driveways and we're going to try to clear it all out. It just takes a little bit longer to move it uh, just because it just gets heavy and clumped up and it's just harder to move around. Brian, are there any issues that your crews are running into? Any certain tough spots throughout the Kansas City area? We, we actually overnight we had a few trucks get stuck uh, just because we had uh, over an inch an hour rate of snowfall, which is pretty high. That's like the, the you know, the general uh, uh, level of, of heavy snow. And so we had a few trucks get stuck. We had one crash. Uh, thankfully, the driver's going to be OK. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, it's a regular storm. Those types of things happen in any given storm. Uh, nothing unusual out there right now for us. Brian, I hope I'm not putting you on the spot with a police department more related question, but we just talked to John Lacey in Overland Park uh, stressing that that uh walk-in policy with their wrecks in Overland Park where if it's a if you have a fender bender with someone they want you to not call police today if your car is still drivable if you're okay let them know about it later on just collect information does Kansas City do something similar to that you know yeah not sure exactly what the police policy is going to be today but I we will ask everyone just to stay off the roads as much as possible if you can yeah. let our plows do the work and clear the roads as quickly as we can, and we can do that faster with less cars on the road. Absolutely, and we've mentioned earlier, Brian, thank you for joining us this morning via phone. Brian Platt, City Manager for Kansas City, Missouri. We've mentioned earlier they're asking you to park in garages yes. in Kansas City, and those garages are going to be free parking until 2 o'clock tomorrow. There's a QR code you can scan. We have that this morning on KSHB.com. We are continuing our severe weather coverage this morning because this snow is so impactful and dangerous depending on where you are in our viewing area. Keep it here on KSHB 41.